In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where your Wi-Fi is missing from your Windows computer. So whether your Wi-Fi is missing from the taskbar on your computer, or sometimes also if you go over to your settings and click on network and internet, sometimes your Wi-Fi can also be missing from here. So I'm going to show you how you can restore this feature and get your Wi-Fi back up and running. Now the first step is just to open up your start menu, go and search for control panel and click on this window. Make sure view by is set to large icons in the top right hand side and then click on internet options. Click on the advanced tab and you need to select restore advanced settings. Once you've done that, press apply and OK. We're then going to open up the start menu, search for settings and click on the settings window. Click on network and internet, scroll down to advanced network settings, scroll down to network reset and click on this and click on reset now. It will say, are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Press yes. And once you've done that, you'll need to restart your computer. So once your computer's restarted, you can check to see if that solves your issue. Now, if it's not working, the next solution is to open up your start menu, go and search for services and click on the services window. Now we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page and you need to find a service called WLAN auto config and we're going to double click on this service. Make sure the startup type is set to automatic and make sure the service status is set to running and we can do that just by clicking on this start button then press apply and OK. Now, if you already have this service running, then just right click on it and click on restart. You're also going to do the same for this service here, WWAN auto config. So double click on this one as well. Change the startup type to automatic. Make sure the service status is running by clicking start and then press apply and OK. You can then right click on this and click on restart. Now, next thing you'll need to do is open up the start menu and search for control panel. Click on network and sharing center. Click on change adapter settings. And then you need to locate your Wi-Fi adapter from this list. So if you do see your Wi-Fi adapter here, then just right click on it. Click on disable, then right click on it again and press enable. We can then close out of this window. Head over to your start menu and search for device manager. Click on the drop down arrow next to network adapters and you should be able to see your Intel Wi-Fi adapter. Yours may be called something slightly different, but it should have Wi-Fi in the name. Now, once you found this, just right click on it, click on update driver, click on browse my computer for drivers, select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer, click on this top one here and then press next. Now, once you've installed that driver, you can right click on this again, click on properties, click on power management and make sure to uncheck this option next to allow the computer to turn off this device to save power and then press OK. Once you've done this, you can once again check to see if that solves your issue. If it's still not working, open up the start menu and search for run and click on the run icon. In the search box, type in MS config and press enter. Click on the general tab and make sure the startup selection is set to normal startup. Now click on the services tab, click on disable all and then press enable all and then press apply and OK. You can then go and restart your computer and that should have now fixed your Wi-Fi issue. If it's still not working, you can try doing a soft reset. Now to do this, you'll need to hold down the power button on your computer for around about 30 seconds. So even when your computer screen is turned off, you need to make sure you continue to hold the power button down and that's going to drain any residual power left in your laptop. So I'd recommend using a timer on your phone just to make sure you wait that full 30 seconds. You can then go and release the power button and try turning your laptop back on and that should have now solved your Wi-Fi issue. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.